Today, by the Sri Sri Nivasajana Mahan's mercy, I will be talking about the appearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And before we begin, please forgive me for any mistakes and kindly correct me. So, um, who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a combination of Radharani and Krishna. He has the mood of Radharani in separation, but he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna. So, how did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appear? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appear, appeared under a new tree around 1486. Since he appeared under a new tree, he was named Niman. His parents were Sachi Devi and Jagannath Miksha. Why did he appear? There are a few reasons why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. One, to spread the Sankirtan movement, and after telling Arjuna about devotion in the Bhagavad Gita, he wanted to know how ecstatic a pure devotee can be. That is why he came in the mood of Radharani. But the main reason is because of Advaita Acharya. He worshipped the Lord with ultimate devotion by offering Ganga water and Tulsi Manjis at the lotus feet of Krishna, begging him to descend to this material world. Krishna got moved by these pleas and therefore descended as Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki! Jai! Hare Krishna. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had many childhood pastimes. Some of them are Nimai and the Brahmana, Nimai and the Kapi, and Nimai and the Cobra. Today we will enact a very sweet pastime of Nimai called Nimai and the Thieves. Hare Krishna, my name is Nimai. Also, my name is Karanga. One day, two thieves were in my ships. I want a ride too. I I see I did to them. <laughs> Hurry, boy! Hey, Punda, look at the child's dress. <laughs> yes, good dog! <laughs> <laughs> hey, really on some rupees? Those ornaments. <laughs> I say, let's take him to the forest, steal all his jewels, and kill him! Hey, little child! You want this sweet? Yes. We will give it to you if you commit us for a ride. Okay. Hey, this sweet is for a child. <laughs> Ever since you found about gulab jamun, I have been having so many problems. <laughs> hey, little child, come for a ride. Krishna in the special age of Kali Yuga. 
Whenever God incarnates, is always accompanied by his associates. Likewise, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was also always followed by many devotees chanting and dancing. As stated in the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord appears with two missions. One is to deliver the vast devotees, and another is to annihilate the demons. In this age, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission was also like that, to deliver the devotees and to annihilate the non-devotees. But this time he had a different weapon. That weapon was not a club or a disc, but a lethal weapon. His weapon was a Sankirtana movement. He showed the demoniac mentality of the people by introducing the Sankirtana movement. That is the specific significance of Lord Sri Chaitanya. He prophesied that the Hare Krishna mantra would be sound through every town and village in the world. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Lord himself, was teaching how to develop the love of God by a very simple method. He says to chant Hare Krishna. Please re repeat with me. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Kiva Mun Kala Nasti Kala Nasti Kiva Nasti Kiva Gati Anita. In this age, you simply go on chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. There is no other alternative. The chanting process offered by Lord Chaitanya for achieving love of God is called Sankirtana. Sankirtana is a Sanskrit word. Sam means samyak, complete, and kirtana means glorifying or describing. So complete the, so the complete meaning means complete glorification of the Supreme or the Supreme Complete Whole. This devotional service begins with the method of Shravana. Shravana means hearing. Kirtana means describing. One should describe and another should hear. Or the same man himself can both describe and hear. He does not need anyone else's help. What we chant Hare Krishna, we chant and hear. This is complete. This is not a complete method, but what, sh what should we be chanting and hearing? One must chant and hear about Vishnu and Krishna, not anything else. Shravanam Kirtan Vishnu Smarana. Srimad Bhagavatam 7.5.23. One can understand Vishnu, the all pervading, absolute truth, the supreme personality of God, by the method of hearing. In the Chaitanya Trinamrita of Matthew Limas, 7.128, the Lord instructs us, Jayadika Tarika Krishna Upadesha Amaragya Guru Khaya Tare Edesha. Jayadika Tarika means, wherever you go and whoever you meet. Krishna Padesha instruct ever to follow the orders of Lord Sri Krishna as they're given in the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. And then, by my order, become a spiritual master and try to liberate everyone in this land. In the famous verses in the Chaitanya Manga, Shrita Kanda, Psalm 12, verses 563 to 565, where Lord Chaitanya said, Chanting the name and qualities of Krishna gives the energy to the Vaishnavas. I will reveal these activities, pure devotional service unto myself. In this way, I will destroy all the sins in Kavika. So all of you, all of you, my associates, go ahead and take birth on the earthly planet before my advent. And don't remain behind. Taking the sharp sword of Namas and Kirtana, I will root out and destroy the demoniac mentality in the hearts of all the conditioned souls. Then some sinful people escape and giving up dharma, go off to far off countries, my Senapati Bhakta will go there and deliver them. The Senapati Bhakta means the Acharya Guru and the elevated devotees like a Shiva Prabhupada. In Chaitanya Jaramit, Adi Lila, chapter 9, quote 36, the Sankirtana movement has been introduced by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu just to dispel the illusion of mind, by which everyone in this material world thinks himself to be a product of matter and therefore have many duties pertaining to the body. <coughs> therefore, actually, the living entity is not this material body, he is a spirit soul. He has a spiritual need to be eternally blissful and full of knowledge. But unfortunately, he identifies himself with the body. Sometimes, sometimes it's human being, sometimes it's a... <coughs> sometimes it's an animal, sometimes it's a tree, 
sometimes as an aquatic, sometimes as a demigod, and so on. Thus, with each change of body, he develops a different type of consciousness with different types of activity, and thus becomes increasingly entangled in material existence, transmigrating perpetually from one body to another. Under the spell of Maya, or religion, he does not consider the past or the future, but is simply satisfied with the short lifespan that he has gotten for the present. To eradicate this illusion, she turns into a helper who has brought the same kid in the moment, and he requests ever to accept it and distribute it. So, this process of Hare Kirtana is very simple. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Actually, there are only three words, Hare Krishna and Rama, but they're very nicely arranged for chanting, so that everyone can take the mantra to their soul and chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Sanyasa. 
In the Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Leva, third chapter, prepared to the 34th verse, Lord Chaitanya Sinyasa is described as follows. During the time of Lord Chaitanya, the influence of Sankaracharya in the society was very strong. People thought one could accept sannyas only in the disciplic succession of Sankaracharya. Lord Chaitanya could have performed his missionary activities as a householder, but he found householder life an obstruction to his mission. Therefore, he decided to accept the renounced order sannyasa. Since his acceptance, Since his acceptance of sannyas was also designed to attract public, Lord Chaitanya, not wishing to disturb the social convention, took the renounced order of life from a sannyasi in the disciplic succession of Sankaracharya. Although sannyas was also granted in the Vaishnava Sampradaya, Lord Chaitanya accepted sannyas from Keshav Bharati. When he first approached Keshava Bharati, he was accepted as a brahmachari with the name Sri Krishna Chaitanya Brahmachari. After he took sannyas, he preferred to keep his name Krishna Chaitanya. The great authorities in the discipline succession had not offered to explain why Lord Chaitanya refused to take the name Bharati after he took sannyas from a Bharati. Until Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Maharaj volunteered the explanation that because a sannyasi in the Sankar Sampradaya thinks that he has become the Supreme Lord Chaitanya, wanting to avoid such a misconception, kept the name Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Placing himself as an eternal servant, sir, a brahmachari is supposed to serve the spiritual master. Therefore, he did not neglect the relationship of the servitude to, the spirit, to his spiritual master. Accepting such a position is favorable for the relationship between the disciple and the spiritual master. Often dwelling in a deep emotional mood, 
Where is the new one? On several occasions, his devotees feel in separation from him, devoted to Sahaj, or dissuaded him from visiting Vrindavan. The Lord's first attempt to go to Vrindavan occurred shortly after he accepted Sanyasa, the Lina's order, at age 24. Nitya Prabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, his chief associate, tricked him into thinking that the Ganga, which flows through Navadvip, West Bengal, with those live, was Vrindavan's live Yanuma. Mahaprabhu was so intensely absorbed in his thoughts of Vrindavan that he jumped into the Ganga. But Advaita Acharya, another leading associate, was waiting close by with the boat. And upon seeing Advaita, Mahaprabhu realized that this could not be Vrindavan. <laughs> Just by saying the name of Krishna. 
The third verse, uh, Mahabhubhu instructs us what a person's state of mind should be while chanting the Mahamantra. So a person can still chant the holy name and reap benefits, but if someone has a certain mindset while chanting, they can reap all the benefits and go back to Godhead and obtain liberation. He gives examples by using metaphors like a person being more tolerant than a tree and thinking oneself to be lower than a straw. So if a person can be humble and tolerant while chanting the Mahamantra, they can attain liberation and exit this world. For the rest of the verses, it talks about how when the mind is completely washed of material contamination through pure consciousness, like arises in one's heart, and also stated in like Srila Prabhupada's commentaries, he says, as soon as the whole material contamination is washed away by this process of chanting, all desires and reactions to material activities become immediately vanquished, and then one can like start a peaceful life after chanting the holy name. And then specifically chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, it purifies oneself. And this chanting is therefore recommended by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And by chanting the names of Krishna, the heart is cleansed and the devotee loses interest in anything material and external in one's life. Okay, So now we'll recite the Shikshashtikam. Please everyone chant with me. Oh, 
Oh Gopinath, I am weak. I am also very old. That is why I am not able to serve you. Haribo! Haribo! Jai! Jai! Haribo! Haribo! Hare Krishna! Oh, I will fix this. Honey, boy! 